beautiful. Love is a beautiful thing. They're eating a they're eating a, a ramen thing called chapagetti. Chapagetti. Named after um, when Ted Kennedy killed that lady, Chapagetti. <laughs> That's what they were eating in the car. Yeah, it's the only um, ramen that'll make you uh, drown. <laughs> You'll, they'll find liquid in your lungs when you die. And you watch the waiter that you killed drown, and you just go like, "Oh no, don't, <laughs> no. no, don't do that." Uh, I'm a Kennedy. Don't die. You go breathe. <laughs> Try to breathe. <laughs> Anyway, I'm just going to kind of backstroke out of here. Yeah. Anyway, I'm going to make a call to pop. Right. I'm going to use my retarded sister as a flotation device. <laughs> check, check, check. As a pool noodle, I'm going to use Rosemary That's Kennedy. That's they use her as a mm-hmm. noodle. Mm-hmm. There's old uh, Kennedy clips where they're vacationing on Nantucket and they're just floating on their retarded sister out in the middle of the ocean. They're surfing on her. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Or Martha's Vineyard, excuse me, wherever the fucking. It would be yeah. funny to show your grandmother Nick Akato, and he's she's like, is that Chet Kennedy? <laughs> is it right? What is, is, that, that, is that Brando? <laughs> <laughs> that looks like the actor who raped me in 1956. <laughs> you're like, you're like Grandma Brian did it. He raped you. <laughs> He's like I was at the Coco Cabana. <laughs> And the boys used to just treat me like a pinkishy. <laughs> they called me the bowling alley. <laughs> That's got to suck when you have like a whore grandma when she's going through Alzheimer's, you know? Oh, yeah. And she keeps letting things fly. Yeah. She's like a nice grandma. And then her, her whole life. And then she's like, I eat to fuck black guys. Give it a day. <laughs> she's got like the beeping machine next to her. And you're like, grandma. <laughs> Oh, the like grandkids are there. Yeah, yeah great grandkids. And she's all she's very racist and regretful, so she says even worse things. She's like, they should all be killed. They should be killed because they fucked my pussy too good. I couldn't. Even, she's shaking. I couldn't enjoy sex with Pop Pop because they fucked my pussy too good. The, the nurse comes in and does like the thirteen folds of glory on her pussy, mm-hmm. like it's the American flag. Yeah, two Marines have to yeah. come in and fold her pussy into a triangle yeah. and then hand it to her husband. <laughs> they have to fly it back from Vietnam. Yeah, Frank it's- Lucas smuggled drugs in her pussy. Yeah, it's fucking. Uh, it's the Notebook, but he's just d- reminding her how how good she got fucked by the Harlem Globetrotters. <laughs> it's fucking James, yeah. whatever that guy's name is, the guy from Maverick. Uh, that old ass. Anyway, yeah, who gives know. a shit? Who gives, gives a shit? It fucking cares. It, it must have sucked, like, because you know, like James Joyce. He, I thought he went blind because I was like, oh. Like, did he go blind because he was, like, such a genius? You know, like, his last book, Finnegan's Wake, he wrote it in crown, like, one letter on a page because he was losing his vision. Mm -hmm. And turns out he just had sex with, uh, like, a thousand whores. Yeah. And And he got syphilis. Yeah. And then his body, like, slowly degraded over time. It had nothing to do with Wasn't he the guy that also liked shit that we talked about? Yeah, I think... With McCusker? I think he literally ate so much ass that he, like, got... Yeah, read a pink eye. He got pink eye that blinded him. Made him him blind. That's why he had the eye patch, because he ate too much ass? He ate, yeah. Yeah. He had the eye patch so he could eat ass. He would just flip that down and then (laughs) dive into a fat Dubliner's uh, asshole. Sucking too many shepherd's pie farts. (laughs) So if you get syphilis, you you pretty much you're done for. I I've, I mean now you just get I think a bunch of shots. Yeah, and so they kick it out of your body. Capone, right? Didn't he have syphilis? Mm-hmm. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So we all get like a shot when we're born now. So like if we grow up to be a whore, yeah. We're the fine. doctor goes, "Ma'am, your baby's gonna be a real whore." <laughs> yeah, this is. Yeah, she ma'am. looks like a slat. Yeah. <laughs> They it hold is, it up yeah. like a puppy from yeah. the back of the neck. <laughs> They're like, if you look, she's got a really tight pussy, even for a baby. So we could. The doctor, the doctor goes, I snuck a finger or two in, and it was crazy. Holy Hold, shit. <laughs> holding a caliper up, it's Woo! it's really tight. <laughs> like like almost like you know like when you get pussy yeah. so good, it's like almost too tight. We and recommend like, you, we recommend you already start uh, start around prep. You should you should put, also put olive oil on your pussy so it stretches a little bit. <laughs> like it catches me in yeah. the World Series. Yeah, you put a rubber band around and then put it under your bed. Yeah, yeah. Because you know sometimes pussy's so tight it's like it makes your dick go numb and then you can't fuck anymore. I guess we're we're four minutes in and we've already talked about old woman's pussies and a newborn's pussy. Well, I'm in a good mood today. <laughs> Me too, buddy. I came. I, I came in fire. We both had Good. a. Wi- you guys broke out of it. You guys were in a little depression, yeah. weren't you? Yeah. We had a. We yeah. had a wild case yeah. of depression yesterday, but yeah. Yeah. yeah, I rose out of the. 
up from the grave he arose, mm-hmm. you know? Mm-hmm. I, I listened to the Alabama Shakes on the way over here, so <laughs> I'm doing pretty good. Yep. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's how you know you have depression is when you like listen to a song, you go like, ah, it's still, life's still got meaning. I got it, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I put on music sometimes. I'm like, I forgot about this stuff. Mm-hmm. I'm a little happier now. Yeah, like yeah. the like a Gangnam Style. That's what I. The yeah, Harlem sure. Shake, Smash Mouth. Mm-hmm. Yeah, well, Smash yeah. Mouth. R.I.P. That guy's in hell right you now. You can't shit on that guy. <laughs> yeah, what? Why did he? Uh... He's right here, by the way. If you want to. <laughs> <There he is. laughs> That's what he looked like. He turned into a muckbagger. Mm-hmm. His obituary. I, lo- I clicked on. It, I thought Nick Akato died. <laughs> <laughs> well, his liver was less healthy than Nick Akato's. Yeah. Yeah. No, apparently his uh, daughter died like right when um, All Star took off. His oh, daughter. Uh, oh, that's so sad. Yeah, you know, I mean, whatever. We didn't know him. <laughs> Who cares? <laughs> I mean, objectively, it's not real. Well, at least they're together in heaven right now. Yeah, yeah. they're both in hell. <laughs> his, he, he didn't baptize his daughter in time. Oh, okay. So she goes to hell. Gotcha. But then he he became like an he was an alcoholic for like our entire lives, basically. Mm. Man, like, like post Shrek. Did you say there was a clip of him like trying to like kill somebody? Yeah, right? he was like on stage and he was he was so fucked up. I think he he had that thing where you drank so much it makes you you turn retarded kind mm-hmm. of. And so he was just on stage like, hey now, you're an all star. <laughs> you, I, I fucking love Nazis. Go play. <laughs> He was he was just I think he was saying like a lot of like white supremacist stuff and he mm-hmm. he didn't know what he was doing he didn't know what was going on anymore you yeah know? I think yeah there was like clips of him like somebody's like you you walking down the side he's like I'll fucking kill you <laughs> shut the fuck up <laughs> is this him right here yeah I think so it says Smash Mouth singer goes insane at Taste of Foco Taste of Foco I don't know what that means I don't that's uh, that's some festival in Riverside yeah. where they kill everybody at the end of it. <laughs> I don't know. So like the, the government runs it's like midsummer. Yeah, the government runs music festivals to like kill people in Stockton yeah. and fucking Palmdale. It's Dale. one of those music festivals that takes place at a yard house. <laughs> it's a music music festival slash like pest control trap. Yeah. Okay, this is the most watched part right here, and this is in 240p, unfortunately. So let's see if it's even worth a damn. Mm. Okay, he's coming out. He looks like Chuck you Yeager. One more piece of shit on fucking stage. I'm gonna come find your ass. I'm gonna beat your ass. Whoever the fuck you are. Okay? <laughs> you wanna be a badass? Come up here. Come on. So he just threatens the crowd. Yeah, the mm-hmm. Shrek, the Shrek guy. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> the guy that made his song for Shrek comes out and goes, I'll fucking kill everyone here. Yeah. He's like, We're gonna get Shrek out here, he's gonna beat your ass. Mm. He thinks Shrek oh, is this real. This is so funny. This lady goes, so glad I decided not to bring my ventilator and wheelchair Wait, out to see. Wait, that's real? This is real. <laughs> what? So this is the description of the video here. So glad I decided not to bring my ventilator and wheelchair out to see Smash Mouth at Taste of Fort Collins last night. What a classless punk and has-been this guy is. Yesterday, while I was at Taste, there were tons of kids there. This is a family event. He called the crowd pussies? Hardly. Our town has heart. I'd like to personally never invite this man back and kick his butt back into the 90s. Disgusting. My friend caught this on video. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to I'm going to kick his I'm going to kick his butt back to the 90s. I can't walk or breathe. <laughs> Uh, yeah. Yeah, and everyone in the comments is, are like, yeah, this guy's a legend. A guy with like a like a feeding tube is just like, I punch a Nazi. <laughs> thick, thick. Yeah, Completely okay. paralyzed. Yeah. Lives in a bubble. He's like, you punch a Nazi. Yeah. Yeah. A guy threw a Stephen Hawking voice going, fuck you in, 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 in. It's National Punch a Nazi Day. Uh. <laughs> Yeah, that rules. I do love like most of the crowd did start cheering louder. Which they loved it. Yeah, it's yeah. appropriate. They probably response. didn't think the Smash Mouth guy was that punk rock. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I hope uh, Jeff Tiedrich takes over as the lead band member now of Smash Mouth. <laughs> yeah, he can really wail on guitar. He's pretty good. He's actually not bad. Yeah. You know, for a guy who voted for the email lady, he's pretty good. Hey, don't yeah. blame him. He voted for the email lady. He voted for the email lady. Mm-hmm. I'm not blaming him. I'm I not d- pointing fingers at Jeff Tiedrich. Yeah, I did see there was a there was a headline where uh, Hillary was at like just recently made a press release. She's like, "There's no way Trump wins in 2024," and I'm like, "You're already yeah, it's already setting it you're, up. You're the Steve Bartman of politics. What are you doing?" <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Jesus Christ. If anyway. there's one thing I know for sure, mm-hmm. yeah, she's just doing that. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, not to get into you know the whole. No, no, no. Let's yeah. not. No. Be the first podcast to talk about Hillary Clinton for a couple hours. 
Although something that is what the people want. Something that happened 45 years ago at this point. I think people listen to Lemon Party for our takes on like geopolitics and like mm-hmm. you know, yeah. stuff like that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. What's going on around the world? Yeah, they mm-hmm. go. I want to. I wanted to hear about politics from the Hard R Women podcast. <laughs> <laughs> someone actually, uh, someone uh, either messaged me or commented because I read the comments. That's where I feel at home. By the way, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I feel at home in the comment section of like mukbang videos because. Mm-hmm. I mean, where else are you gonna go to? Bonk. I yeah. really hate that shit. Yeah. Is that how you? Pro- did you just properly God. pronounce my like, bang? You're like a Criterion Collection <laughs> mukbanger. I'm classically trained in being yeah. retarded. You're like, you're like, it's it, she's her name is actually Claire Denis. Okay. I went to the Juilliard School of of being uh, retarded. Yeah, being retarded. Yeah, the comment section is like your Bane's pet from Batman. <laughs> like you were born inside retarded people existing. Uh, and had to climb out. Some, some, someone said either messaged me. They were like, "If you really want to diversify your audience with Lemon Party, you guys really need to start covering topics I internationally." Heard. Yeah, I saw that. They're one. like, "Do a big thing about a story in Australia, and then do a, a, a big one like in India, and like do yeah. a, do a big one in Tunisia." Like, I like what the do you idea think of this that. Show is? I also like the idea that there's been a bunch of Indians and Tunisian people that have tuned in, and they go, mm. "It's just not about my country," yeah. so they've turned off. Mm-hmm. Uh, I'm turning it off. Yeah, mm. this is a Tunisian. Like that, they're just not talking about shakshuka enough <laughs> for me. <laughs> Can't relate. Can't relate. Yeah. Well, my favorite, we were talking before it started about people who like, you'll make a joke and then people will explain the joke you made to you. Yes. In the comments, like I have, I retweeted that Sean Penn had that article where he was like, uh, he was like, for any people who want to use my likeness for AI, any studio executives, what about I take your uh, daughter's likeness and me and the boys, you know, he basically said like rape her. Yeah, rape them, yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And then I tweeted a joke about that and somebody responded. He goes, well, I don't actually think he thinks rape is good. It's just like he's comparing the two. We go, oh, thanks for that. Yeah. I literally sent him a picture of a retarded guy and it said, Durr, across oh, the top. Oh, Brian Regan. Yeah. Brian Regan going, Dang. It's the equivalent of like if, if you're telling a dumb street joke, you go, horse walks into a bar and a guy goes, horses don't walk into bars. And you go, all right. You know, I'm going to leave now. Yeah, I'm going to mm-hmm. check, please. Mm-hmm. And they go, you know, chickens actually do cross the road sometimes. I've seen a chicken cross the road in my time. Very good. Yeah. Oh, thank you for that. It's a guy standing up at a Chris Rock show going, there's more than two types of black people. (laughs) There's many types of black people. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's like, you're you're very wise. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. What were you going to say, Ben? You you had something on on the tip of your tongue earlier. Oh, well, I just, you know, I I felt a little lonely yesterday. You know, I went to tour that country club again. And uh, mm-hmm. that's yeah. definitely not it. Well, I went to the your new- whole life revolves around touring country clubs. <laughs> <laughs> well, you, 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 you might as well. Hep- you, do you walk there barefoot too? <laughs> <laughs> you're like the soloist for mm-hmm. like country clubs. Yeah. <laughs> you're you're yeah you're like the, you're the homeless guy who can't even afford a gym membership, so he keeps trying out <laughs> yeah. different. He has to walk 18 miles to the last LA Fitness he's got a week left at. <laughs> like I'm Forrest Gump or yeah. shit. You walk in covered in shin, you go, I like the two week trial. <laughs> I'm like, all right, well, here's there's the water fountain. You can go take a shit in and wipe your balls on real quick. That's you at golf courses. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> there's a new, there's a discount for people under 40 because mm. everyone there is apparently, they're just, I've walked through this thing a couple of times now. They look like vultures, just on headstones. Like some lady's just eating dinner, and across from her is literally her husband's tombstone. She's like, "Are you liking the fish?" <laughs> Holding cottage cheese up to the tombstone. Yeah. yeah, a guy's teeing off on his wife's urn, putting the ball on top of it. Everybody's so old, so they're offering a really heavy discount to get young people in. Right. And this place happens to be like four minutes from my house. Mm-hmm. So, and you know, I hate driving, mm-hmm. so it kind of would be perfect, but. I got invited to the new member mixer because I still haven't pulled the trigger on signing up yet because I don't know. <laughs> new if... member mixer. That's yeah. gonna be that's a Ooh, dark place. Man. Yeah. Wow. That's like going to a job fair, but for like your hobbies. <laughs> <laughs> that really sucks. <laughs> yeah, it was uh it felt like I was just at the worst convention of all time. Mm. Just like I had to wear the name tag that said like hi, my name is Ben. Oh, God. I'm just walking around. And uh he was like, "Oh, I want you to. T- well, why don't you talk to these uh, new members here?" And he put me in a corner, and I looked up, and it was the great big fat couple we talked about uh, like ten episodes ago mm-hmm. that we I actually met. 
that the, we made fun the of the guy on the who, show? The guy who asked like 100 questions about the menu. Oh, man. And then they got to the gym, and they're like, we're good. No questions needed. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Do you remember that? Those yeah, guys? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so you had to... Luckily, they they obviously don't listen to the show, and they have no idea who I am. Would it be mm. amazing if they did? <laughs> <laughs> there would have been a brawl, no. I think. I think, I w- I think they, they would know, you know. They, they'd walk up to you. They're like, hey, big fan. I suck. That was great. <laughs> I'm a big fat retard. I'm a big you guys, fat right. You guys I rule. fucking should kill myself. I should fucking kill myself. And you should, too, because... We're at the same mixer twice in a row. <laughs> at a country club mixer. <laughs> he was fucked up, too. He was, like, teetering both ways. It's just because of his blood sugar? Yeah. 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 He's drinking a whiskey tumbler full of insulin. <laughs> <laughs> On the rocks. Yeah. Yeah. And, uh, dude, every... I haven't been in, like, a social situation, honestly, in, like, years. Yeah. Mm. So, like, even being out... It was, it was insane. It was so... Uh, it felt like uh, those videos when uh, people can hear for the first time. Mm-hmm. It was it was very overwhelming, and people are just swirling white wine, and they're going, "Oh man, Greg on number eight today! It was crazy." Mm-hmm. Yeah, just that kind of. And like, you're and you're slowly trying to ma- <laughs> join it. Yeah, and I'm going. <laughs> la, 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 la. <laughs> and they go, "Do you want a cocktail?" And I'm like, "I'm not allowed to drink." <laughs> eh, eh. <laughs> and they go, can you drink water? I'm like, I can have water if there's no alcohol in yeah. the water. Mm. You get if you put it in a little beaker and spray it in my mouth, yeah. I can have it. Yeah, I, I really just shit the bed the whole time. Yeah, and uh, I think that pushed me through and got me out of my depression, though. Just Being like cool, yeah, because I was listening to people ha- like make like, oh, this guy is more sand the sand than Hasselhoff. It's crazy. Huh? <laughs> it's, I mean, this guy, you guys got the Bengals. Not that if you're watching the Bengals game with Greg. I'm telling you, I didn't know people actually do talk like that yeah, in yeah. social situations. Of course they do. Yeah. They resort to just like. Yeah. It's uh I, they go, Do you have any pictures of your kids? I go, No, but I do have a couple of Ben Franklin. <laughs> <laughs> it's that it's that. Yeah. I didn't know people actually do that. I yeah. thought that it's, was like a shitty movie. Because they're already they're already dead. Mm-hmm. Like, they, they, di- they died when they chose their major exactly. in college. Yeah. Like they died at like eighteen. Mm-hmm. When they were they were like choosing like they wanted uh, to sign up for art and then they're like business administration, that's great. Yep. Like I'd love to work at Diamond Mines Incorporated. Mm. Yeah. The place was just like under construction too, so like I said Sayonara after I chugged to uh, soda waters with lime in under three minutes. And I was like, I have to, I have to go take a shit. Yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah, I have to go cheat on my wife. Excuse me. <laughs> I have to go mail anthrax to the mirror. And I just <laughs> like ran out and I just wandered through this country club and it was being remodeled. Mm-hmm. So I was like Jack in The Shining. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I was just wandering down these halls and there were just Mexicans like nailing things to walls and they would turn around and they'd go, okay. I'm like, sorry, I don't know where I am. And I would just keep like walking, like looking into rooms. Yeah. There's a guy in a bear mask sucking somebody <laughs> off. <laughs> it was this weird haunted thing. And I came out on the other side and there was this beautiful like golden amber light and the sun was setting and mm. I, I finally felt free. Mm. Yeah. To flee away from civilization yeah. Yeah. and all its rot. Boy, I can't imagine the conversations you were in. It's, people. it's pretty shit, brutal. It's brutal. Dude, it's fucking brutal. Just every man there is like threatening their maid on the phone. <laughs> like, I swear to God, if you tell her, I'll have you fucking deported, I'll kill you. Right. Yeah, we, fuck, we fucked three times. That was it. <laughs> yeah, it's it's a guy going like, I tell you what, if the quarter gets any lower, I'll, they'll have my head. And then he's like, excuse me. And then he pulls out his Bluetooth. He goes, yes, um, can you kill the woman I've been cheating on my wife with? <laughs> Five grand. Well, can you can you do four? Can you help a brother out? Okay. He's just calling right, his. Goodbye. He's calling his assistant and telling him he's like, hey, hey, dude, you have to burn down the stabbing cabin mm-hmm. right now. Yeah. Lock all the bitches inside and burn down the stabbing cabin. Yeah. Can you Chris Dorner my mistress real quick? Okay, great. Okay, great. Yeah. All and just, right. And just fake it and make it seem like it was a mess. Yeah. Name. Okay. If you if you need me, I'm gonna go fuck this lady at yeah. the bar real quick. Okay. Okay. He's screaming this. Yeah. So anyway, bleach and lime. I gotta go. <laughs> All right. Toodaloo. Have a good one. People that have nothing to talk about, they resort to like, how do they get the cherries so damn red? Mm-hmm. Where you almost like want to, you almost want to turn about them and be like, what do you think about abortion? 
<laughs> just because the conversation is so fucking boring. Uh-huh. You just want to like roll out of like, what do you think about Israel? Two state? Yeah. One state? One what do you state think? Two? What do you think? One or two? Huh? <laughs> let's flip a coin. I got a gun in my yeah. waistline. Yeah. <laughs> huh? Let's play a game. Yeah, let's go. Let's go talk to this Jewish guy over here what he thinks about it. Let's go have a combo. Uh- <laughs> No, I did that at my um, fucking my last job uh, when I worked at that firearm place, mm-hmm. and I had to play. Uh, there was like a, a scramble for everybody who sold firearms, which is already like just firebomb the course at mm-hmm. this point. I can't believe. So you had to play golf with all of them. I had to play golf because they knew I was good at golf, so they recruited me. Mm-hmm. And then I showed up, and they're like, "You have to wear golf shoes." I'm like, "Well, I have Crocs," and they're like, oh, "Well, okay." And then my boss had to like pay three hundred dollars for these gay ass shoes. Mm-hmm. And then we're teeing off. Bowl, bowling shoes with like nails on the bottom. Yeah, they're like yeah, big that's nails. All they are, yeah, yeah, yeah. So you don't tear your white ass ACL trying to like do <laughs> the right. first athletic thing in a decade. Mm. And I'm just like walking around in like khaki pants. And I'm like, I tried to smoke a cigar they gave me and I'm like coughing too much. And then my boss, who's like this ex alcoholic, like walks up to me and he hold, hold your hand out. Like you're going to, and he's like, going to play a hell of a game today. <laughs> Sorry, I blew the mic out there. That's, that's but he funny. literally, I just watched him, like, I'd hit, a, I'd hit a shot. He'd go, hell of a shot! Hell of a shot, Avery! And then, like, he'd, and then he'd be like, he would just be like, hey, you hear the one about the two Chinese people who should fucking kill themselves? You heard that joke? Like, he had racist jokes where even I was like, oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> right. You know what's yeah. really fun about playing golf with people is sometimes you get paired on the first tee mm-hmm. and they make a comment to you where you realize there's this dark cloud over them. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Like I say to a guy, I'm like, hey, sorry I'm late. My, you know, he goes, he goes, buddy, buddy, this is a sanctuary from my fucking life. I do not give a fuck. And then he just like teed off and yeah. then went and sat in the car. And I was like, oh my God, this guy feels the weight of he the goes, world. Don't yeah. worry about it, pal. I turned off the carbon monoxide sensors <laughs> in my home before coming here. I'm really just praying yeah. something happens before I get back. Because you'll make small talk like on the first. He's like, oh, yeah, no, I play this course a lot. I play it a lot anyway. And then like by hole three, he's like, you know, this is the first time I've talked to somebody in four weeks. <laughs> my wife left me. I don't get to see the kids anymore. And you're like, Ah, anyway, I think it's about a seven iron. It's like 160 into the wind. Man, I played with a guy that, uh, like, last week I got paired with him. And by whole fucking four, he's like, mm-hmm. the, like, the beer cart girl comes around. He's like, oh, you want anything? And I'm like, oh, I don't drink. I'm I'm good. And he was like, you don't drink. <laughs> he's like, you don't drink. He's like, I used to be addicted to heroin. <laughs> I'm like, oh, no. I'm like, yeah, I'm not like an alcoholic. I just don't drink. He's like, well, any and like it was just off to the races. He told yeah. me about how his dad used to do heroin. Yeah, he does heroin. Nice guy, nice guy. But you know, I don't want to. Mm-hmm. I I don't I don't go to the golf course to make friends with people. Right. I go to you know yeah. be insane with ex heroin addicts. Yeah. yeah, yeah. It's also you're also like, hey, buddy, I'm not retarded. I just had a lot of fun and had to stop having mm-hmm. fun. Yeah. yeah. During COVID was the best because COVID, it was always by the second hole. You had to wear your mask outside because they would yell at you. And then by the second hole, you would turn to the guy. And it was always like the moment you get to see. It was a fork in the road. You'd be like, are we going to do this the whole time? No, no, no. I would always, I would initiate because I hated wearing the mask. I go, we can take, you go if I take the mask off, right? And you would either have a guy who's like, who takes off, he's like, Listen, the fucking Chinese invented this shit. And that's like your next, the next (laughs) four hours of your life. You're just stuck. It's just him being like, you know, Hillary, she eats children. She eats them. (laughs) She, in an email to Moloch. That's, you know, I I enjoy that, but five hours. The thing is, too, when you're stuck with them, you got to become them. Mm-hmm. So you just you do. Like, yeah, you don't she be- grinds them up on mm-hmm. her. Yeah. I've seen video. Yeah, what are you gonna does. make life harder for yourself? <laughs> what are you gonna argue with this yeah. guy? You go, yeah, I know. God, it's amazing. It's mm-hmm. unbelievable. O A N. I was watching it the other day. <laughs> what they're saying is so true. Those people always say, you know, everywhere you go, people are saying the same thing, but yet no one publicly says it. It's like, you no, know, people are afraid to disagree mm-hmm. with you. They're mm-hmm. terrified yeah. of having any sort of confrontation yeah. with yeah. you. Yeah, say, yeah. 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 one comment where you look at it, this guy and go, yeah, global warming's really heavy today. <laughs> <laughs> this is going on. Yeah, and they're like, you know what? How would you like a job? I think that'd be great. Right. Well, that, so that was the fork, or it would be like the guy, like it would. You would occasionally get a guy be like, "Have you read the reports?" Of course not. And then you're like, oh, "This guy's a fair guy. I hate this guy more actually." I got to wear my stupid mask. I'm 800 <clears throat> feet away from anybody mm, yeah. in the middle of a golf course. He kept saying, "This guy kept saying you go, uh, you go." Uh, yeah, I did heroin when I was 12. He goes, but you know, it's the valley. 
I'm like, yeah, the valley, man. He's like, I mean, you you you've seen Boogie Nights, right? I'm like, yeah. He's like, it was it was just the valley, man. Yeah. Yeah. I'm like, yeah. I don't think I didn't think eleven year olds were shooting up Boogie heroin. Nights. <laughs> I think preschools were handing out like Narcan. Yeah, no, I think most people were going to Bob's Big Boy. <laughs> yeah, or like a BJ's in Burbank. Yeah, they were shooting porn and stuff, but it's not like everybody was on heroin. Yeah, yeah. I, I love that. Mistaken. Yeah. He's like, yeah, my wife. He she crushed a man's head with her roller blade. I mean, it's the, you know, it's the Valley. You've seen Boogie. <laughs> You've seen Boogie Nights. Yeah. yeah, you know, I fucked my sister when I was a kid, but you know, Connecticut. Yeah, that's what it's like. That's what it's about. <laughs> I used to jack off my large dick in uh, jeeps and parking lots. You know, it's the Valley. <laughs> It's making me reconsider becoming a golf influencer because golf like becoming a golf influencer would be pretty easy because it's like the least charismatic people in the world play golf. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It attracts the moths of personality. It's a bunch of bologna sandwiches walking around. (laughs) (laughs) It's people where you like they heard Saturdays for the boys and they started weeping (laughs) because to to them that's like hearing like a Shakespeare song. Mm -hmm. They go Saturdays. Are for the boys. Yeah. Yeah. They just wept. Like, wept. Like, I can't believe. Like, who said that? Yeah. Was that Confucius? <laughs> yeah. They're like, I need to take my Patagonia vest to wipe my tears away. That I think I kind of realized today because I was having a swim before you boys came over. Mm. And I, I kind of dawned on me when I came up out of the cool water and this nice sunny day in L.A. that the answer is to become uh, bowling vloggers, actually. Mm. Bowling influencers. It's the only people. Yeah. It's the only sport. It's literally the. It's the least charismatic. I want to go even lower <laughs> than golf. Th- than golf. I want to go down to bowling. Yeah. If we start filming ourselves bowling, and we just you know we just make eye contact with people, we're gonna be yeah. the the. I mean, we're gonna be the the best in yeah. show here. Well, everybody would think we're the cast of the Big Lebowski. First of all. The three of us <laughs> sitting together. Yes, you're right. yeah. We literally are every character. We are every character. <laughs> Am I Donnie? I think I'm Donnie. No, Devin's Donnie. Because you're, you're the, smaller? Yeah, I kind of look like Steve Buscemi. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You're the dude because you just, you know, you swim and you lay on your back and stuff. Yeah, and I listen to whale sounds mm-hmm. on my uh, tape cassette. Yeah, yeah, you're, yeah, exactly. You get into birds and mm-hmm. like shit, you know? Yeah. 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 I'm Walter because I, uh, you know. I look like John Goodman. There's, you're drinking virgin white Russians. It's just half and half in a glass. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm going to see if there are even... There's there's no way there's even bowling vloggers, right? Oh, there's oh, gotta there, 100% be. 100% got to be. What do I type in? Bowling influencer? Uh, yeah. I is think, there like a lady yeah. with huge tits and there's like a guy that's like... is. Do they have all the I've same been, things? Uh, Eric Harris and Dylan Claybold. They were bowling influencers. <laughs> yeah. What's up, YouTube? So we're going to shoot up our high school today. There is a TV show on CBS that bombed horribly called How We Roll. Starring uh, the great Pete Holmes. Yeah. Uh, the greatest gay comedian of all time. <laughs> Pete Holmes was in a show about bowling. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Fascinating. Yeah. It was It was a show about a Christian bowler called This Is How We Bowl. Why does it? And it was the trailer was literally like Pete going like, God wants me to start bowling again. Uh, I know. Like the casting some, director was like, get me a comedian with a lot of moles. Yeah, get, get me somebody with no integrity whatsoever. <laughs> yeah, but he's some, Christian, get, so nobody looks into it. Yeah, give me somebody who ruined comedy by telling everyone to start doing it. Oh, so there is someone cornered the market, I think, on this. Yeah, mm-hmm. look at that. That's, that's got 1.4 million views. Uh, damn it. It's a, and it's a fucking family with their kids have Down syndrome. Mm. Well, There's no can, way I can fucking compete well, with that. Well, next year you can. How does that work? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I would, I would like to think you watch the video and they're just bowling the, the autistic children. Yeah, are they throwing the kids into the pins? <laughs> I think it's just that one video. I think it's just their no, family vlogs. Do I don't know, want to click on their How do you know it's videos. autism? It just says autism goes bowling. No, no, I mean, I, I can oh, see it's in the special. Yeah. I'm not going to zoom yeah. in on it. It says special needs. Yeah, that, that, she you also, want me to zoom in on it no, first? No, I make don't fun need of that. Yeah. She also looks like a real monster, yeah. so she's holding her own eyeballs. And their faces are shaped <laughs> like the bowling balls. Yeah, she looks like an upside down umbrella with big lips. The holes are... The eyes are just as close as the holes on the ball. <laughs> okay, finally found a guy. His name is 220 Average Bowler. So I guess that's his that's his stats. Mm-hmm. 
He bought, which is pretty good, 220. Yeah, he's yeah. got, uh, let's see, 31,000 subs. Not a lot, but more than us. Mm-hmm. So I can't really so, shit on that. So he's a loser. <laughs> yes. <laughs> but we're not. And we're not. We're different. Yeah, so he has to do the challenges, like trying to bowl while wearing mm-hmm. ankle weights. Yeah, trying to get pussy after yeah. bowling. <laughs> Yeah, th- that's what's funny about mm-hmm. golf. It's easy to be a golfing influencer because you're like, we drank 20 beers and then tried to play one hole or whatever. Yeah. This guy, this it's like, I put McDonald's French fries inside yeah. a bowling ball. Well, because yeah. they know everyone's so fat. They every every single vlogger has to do a portion where they like make a meal mm-hmm. no matter what they're doing. <laughs> so like these bowlers are like, I bowl while making you know yeah. a, a carne asada. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah, they're doing like if I don't bowl two fifty, I have to drink this bathtub of gravy. <laughs> <laughs> Look, like, this is a popular one. Bowling with the wrong fingers, but why? <laughs> What? Why? I did the thumbnail like. Oh. Mm-hmm. I mean, it, this did take over TV, and it's—I don't even know if it's much worse than what TV used to be. I went bowling the other day, and I—I I saw a guy with a with the whole like embroidered shirt and everything with the team name, and mm-hmm. they wear those big uh, gloves. Yeah, you saw that, a professional like, falconers bowler. wear. You know, yeah, when your grandma's about to die, the gloves she wears, mm-hmm. they use that to bowl. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, like. He had like two knee braces. He mm-hmm. had the the glove, the mech, the mech glove for picking up the. It's definitely bionic. Mm-hmm. There's no way he can physically pick up a bowling ball now at you, this point. You sent us a picture of him. He looked like a bowling ball. Yeah. Oh, I took a picture of him. No, you follow. It was actually kind of. I was like, I was side texting you because you. I could tell you followed him to take a picture. Like he was almost. <laughs> he was almost in the parking lot. I could. I could see yeah. you walking with your phone <clears throat> like this. Yeah, and I left my pregnant wife to take a picture <clears throat> of a fat retard to, to do the like the quick walk where you're almost running <laughs> with your phone way too far out just yeah. to get a fat guy and from I, behind i take like nine of them yeah it's who, very obvious what did, i'm doing who did nothing wrong but just has a hobby and is very fat <laughs> yeah. Very sad. Yeah. yeah he's doing nothing wrong mm. trying to enjoy his day he was just on discord the whole time mm. a harmless guy just yeah. a, di- a guy on discord who's just there and is you know his name was like larry or a, something a guy who every time he walks outside he goes well i hope a retarded boy doesn't take a picture of me again today <laughs> <laughs> he had a big, uh, you know, uh, like a he had like a luggage case you would carry on like mm-hmm. down yeah, the, yeah, yeah. like onto a they plane. They love that shit. He had tons of them. I think he brought like four or five bowling well, balls it's, with it's, him. It's only one bowling ball. The rest is full of pornography. <laughs> it's a it's a bowling ball carrier slash goon kit. It's yeah. A- <laughs> Well, because bowlers, they do it because they like the order of it. Like you know, they have the ball and all the equipment and stuff. Because yeah. that's they're like they're like I could either like assemble a sniper at the top of a tower or I can bowl. Yeah, and they need the order of you know. Like, need I, need, to, I need to list five things I have to assemble together. They need a suitcase full of a bunch of things. Yeah. Mm-hmm. and they pretend the pins are civilians. Yeah. that's why they're bowling. <laughs> that's it, yeah. That is it. Yeah, they that's their mass shooting. Yeah, I got all oh, fucking twelve. <laughs> a guy, a guy bowling in a ghillie suit, yeah. just being like, I'm gonna fucking really do it one day. <laughs> it's also great watching bowlers when they wear like athletic gear, like they, I know. you know, the braces mm-hmm. and stuff. Yeah. The guy's like a headband over his liver. <laughs> it's all <laughs> alcohol induced. <laughs> I wonder if the top professional bowlers even are. I really think well, we could corner the market on this and become world famous. Bowlers are like poker players that just like it's their it's they have a sport, mm-hmm. you know. Mm-hmm. Same builds, yeah, yeah, same athleticism. There was I think I saw a video where there was like a there a Tiger Woods of bowling where a guy started two-hand bowling. Is it this guy? It was like a different guy. He kind of looked vaguely Thai. Maybe that guy's mm. the new Tiger Woods. I mean, that guy rules. Yeah. Man, that's, that's awesome. awesome. Bowlers are so cool, um, but a lot of like bo- like hoity toity hoity toity bowlers were like, we don't. This is a gentleman's game, right. you know. <laughs> yeah, they're, they're bowling in yeah. suits. Yeah, they're like, get that get that showboaty, <laughs> get fucking Irvin Johnson out of here. Get that fucking clown out of here. <laughs> I love the guys that wear the sunglasses. They wear sunglasses while bowling. Go up. There's one guy where he wears oh. like shades. Go to the right. Where? Oh, that down way. Go up. No, no, no. He yeah, passed it. Oh, I passed it. Go down. Go up. Oh, right there. No. Right there. Yeah. That's so awesome. So that guy, I forget his name. That's the guy who had the famous, um, who do you think you are? I am. Have you seen that? Oh, I got to look that up. Can you look that up, Ben? It actually, it actually, he was the, he was the bad boy of bowling for 40 uh, years. Okay. I forget. Just type in, who do you think you are? I am. I forget his name. It's like Pete. Yeah, Pete Weber. Oh, that's awesome. So can I I, I want to set this clip yeah, up yeah, real yeah. quick? So he 
um, was in like a championship match, I think. And he was claiming that he was getting heckled by a 12-year-old in the stands. <laughs> and so, he, so he started like this crazy, like he's a crazy guy. He started like this blood feud with like a 12-year-old who just clapped for too long. Mm. And he would, I watched like the full thing. He would like roll a strike and then he'd like fucking like stare down like a fucking kid. <laughs> he'd be like, he'd be like, fuck, like suck it. That's amazing. He's doing like the, he was doing like the NWO like suck it chop. Yeah, yeah. Like Triple child. H, yeah. So anyway, this is the this is the clip. So is his name Weber? Pat Weber. Yeah. Pete Weber. Pete Pete Weber. Yeah. So he one game So they only bowl like 164? Or am I reading that wrong? No, no, no. So he that those are the frames leading up. His opponent bowled a 214, and I think he has to get a strike or a spare to like win the championship. Wow. This is a championship game. So this is All the right. moment he wins. He's got like welding glasses. Mm-hmm. Strike to claim it. Wow, that was smooth. That's great form. That is nifty. All right, watch. <laughs> I did it. Oh, my God. <laughs> Directed by the Fairley Brothers. <laughs> <laughs> Hell, yeah. That was to a child. Yeah, that was to, like, a 12-year-old boy. <laughs> what do you think? Ah! It was, a, like, to a 12-year-old boy who dropped a cup of ice. <laughs> And he's like, you do not fuck with greatness, kid. <laughs> but nobody, I think nobody. Who are these fucking Klaus Schwab uh, motherfuckers here? Like I'd, the Bilderberg Convention yeah, is I, here. I don't know. The da- yeah, the, the Daniel Stern of bowling. <laughs> yeah. yeah. They all have bats Christ. on it. <laughs> oh, yeah. this is awesome. It's so great. Can you play the clip again just so we can get the full? Oh, sorry. Um, they're, they're weighing her, Jace. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> What part of her are they weighing? Yeah, which 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 foot? <laughs> Dude, she looks like a, a if you made a trebuchet out of flesh. <laughs> strike to claim it. That's so that looks so good. I wish I could bowl like that. Are you kidding me? That's right. See? Dude, we should go to like a bowling match. This is amazing. He's screaming at yes. you. It may, you know what I miss too? I want to drink beer from those little plastic cups. Yes. Mm-hmm. Fuck, I want to drink beer I love from plastic Alice. cups. I think you just want to relapse. Man, you, <laughs> you really have been talking about drinking an awful lot lately. It's fine. Yeah. I'm under a lot of stress right now. I'm. I'm. There's a, a nameless weight in my uh, wife's belly. <laughs> yeah. No name yet. Still. Well, well no. they're naming it nameless weight. Nameless weight. No. <laughs> <laughs> What's the name? Burden. <laughs> <laughs> Bird and Avery is a beautiful name for a girl. <laughs> I've been I've been uh, doing something really gay because I've been, been sucking no. guys uh, cocks. It's been making me feel better the past few days, uh, and today I feel great. Um, but I've been afraid I'm going to die before she's born. It's been like a big fear oh, of mine. Fuck, yeah. That's okay. That explains a lot of. Uh... Yeah, I think we I think we've talked about it a little bit. Yeah, you, it's probably fair. Yeah, you, you, you go, oh, what if I die and then I can't like, you wanted to see have, her face? Because you want it to be raised well. Right. Yes. You're like, what if I die? I can't make her racist. Mm-hmm. She might grow up and like yeah. every group of people on mm-hmm. Earth. What if she grows up to like retweet Elon? <laughs> and like, Man. you know, what if she like really sucks ass? I need to be there to guide her through the trenches of uh, being online. Mm-hmm, I know? would love that. Like, I, you're right. But I would love if you do that too early. So she's like three weeks old, and you're like you're like really on her. You're like you're like you never retweet this fucking guy, right? You go you want to go to these sites. Mm-hmm. She's she, like, <laughs> she has blocks like those letter blocks, and she just accidentally puts like an L and a G together. And you go get that the fuck out of here. <laughs> you throw out the B and the yeah. T. <laughs> I go to Katie. I'm like uh, no dinner for her tonight. <laughs> Katie's like uh, she'll die. I'm like she needs to learn. Mm-hmm. She's looking a little fat. She's being a fat bitch. <laughs> I'm gonna play her these David Goggin videos and get her running on a treadmill. You tie your baby to a treadmill like a dog, <laughs> so she has to keep going. Jace, please don't don't shit on David Goggins. There was one guy that got mad that we did that. There was one guy who's pretending to be in the military who got upset. <laughs> yeah, he, yeah, a guy at a Wetzel's pretzels <laughs> at the mall. Guy going, don't be mean to him. I'm fucking gay for him. <laughs> I'm doing backflips on his cock. Uh, Don't be mean to him. Uh, um, I get he did accomplish a lot, but anyway, so t- I did the. I'm I'm the opposite of David Goggins. I'm writing letters to my daughter in case, like, for one day for her to read. 
So like, are you doing that? Are yeah, you really doing I've that? been writing letters to her, uh, and then I put them in my uh, fireproof safe that I have, and mm. I date them and everything. That's nice. Yeah. That's very it's also cute. somewhat Walter Whiteish. <laughs> You know, is it? Yeah. Are you making Did he videos? Do that? Are you taping videos? Like my name is Walter Hardwell <laughs> White. <laughs> I live at three two one Racism Avenue. Listen, <laughs> it was funny. It was a Negro Lane. Yeah, Negro Lane. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Negro Arroyo Lane. Uh, if you never meet me, I want you to know it was my brother that did everything. <laughs> yeah, I am the one who slurs. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But that's that's cute. I've, I've been feeling better uh, since I've been doing that because then I can, you know, yeah. impart like. Man, uh, so you're really afraid because this whole the di- diabetes thing, and unless you're really afraid of like dying or something. No, I just think like all of a sudden, like the house is gonna fall into the street and crush me and like uh, s- like sever me and mm. like like in three <laughs> different ways. Yeah. What an ego <laughs> that you die in that way. You don't die in a normal you way. You don't think you, I want to die? You die that? with the house crushing oh, you? Come on, it happens all the time. This is California. Our tax money is, is going to these uh, 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 peasants. Oh, Ben, you're going to get shot like everybody else. <laughs> Grow up. Yeah. <laughs> this is America, damn yeah. it. Ben, come on, God damn it. You're going to get knockout game, hit your head on a curb, and die. <laughs> God damn it. We all know that. Some, some, and we know what you really need to be terrified uh, of. Uh, some yeah. teenagers are going to say you're walking gay, and they're going to bludgeon you to death like the rest of us. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, it is very funny to be like making videos for your daughter like you already have cancer. Mm -hmm. (laughs) That's why I'm like, fuck, man. (laughs) Holy shit, what an admission. Uh, I think once I get to like, once I get to like hold her in my arms and like look at her like little like face and see her little like belly and her little fingers and stuff, I think I'll feel better. But I want to, I want to get there. I want to get to I that. I get it. It's like it's, it's, it's like mm-hmm. this the purgatory you're mm-hmm. in right now. Yeah. Well, I mean, it's it's very funny. Like you literally like are feeling these feelings. Not to say that they aren't real, but you're feeling them because. But go ahead like, and tell me how they're not real. But how how they're not how you <laughs> suck. And they're not real. Is though I just it's very trippy to me that like you feel this because twenty thousand years ago, like too many monkey or like fucking a million years ago too many monkeys were like their babies were born and then they just like wing it against like a tree yeah 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 and like it explode i'm excited that's crazy they would do that i'm excited for the baby i'm excited to resent it like immediately <laughs> you're like ben used to be fun i'm, I'm excited to be like you know what ben he used to like he wants he can't doesn't even have time to watch bad comedians on youtube anymore this fucking fucking this bitch yeah. he had he had to have a little bitch yeah, Ben, 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 ben used to only stay wa- up and watch the straight story. <laughs> yeah, Ben won't even watch Shab until 7 a.m. anymore. Yeah, you guys go on benders for your minds. We do. Me and Devin healed each other the other day because he fucking broke my brain so much. We had a wonderful night. That we, wa- we had a great double Another feature. Another wonderful feature, yeah. Double first feature. up, and folks, you can copy us at home. Because these are great double features. Rambo. Up first was Rambo First Blood. Which I, which I recommended as well. And then yeah. in the credits. These two jokers thought it was a typical Rambo movie. I thought it. Yeah. I, thought I, was, it, I, was mm-hmm. I don't know anything about those those old action movies. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it was awesome. Yeah, it's it's a great movie. I really love it. Yeah, it kicked ass. And uh, I saw in the credits, as it's sliding up, Richard Farnsworth caught my eye. Mm-hmm. He plays oh. Brian Dennehy. <laughs> yeah, he plays Brian yeah, they Dennehy. Put, they put a big mama suit on him so he could play Brian Dennehy. Uh, Richard Farnsworth was the stunt man in it. Mm-hmm. I go. So and, he's the guy who falls out of the helicopter. Then oh, no, hold on. Okay. I looked it up. That's actually Diamond Richard Farnsworth, his son. His son, who was also a stunt man, who was gay. They yeah, called him Diamond. They called Rich- him Diamond. Diamond Richard. Yeah, they named him after the shape of his ass. Yeah. <laughs> Well, I love to think there's like a Richard Farnsworth who's straight and then Diamond Richard yeah. Farnsworth who is him. But I didn't gay. know he had a son, Fabulous Farnsworth. <laughs> <laughs> like it's Godzilla and like Mecha Godzilla, mm-hmm. you know. I think he, uh, I, I didn't really look this up, but I'm pretty sure he was a stuntman for Sylvester Stallone in most of his movies, actually. He was like a Jack, like Duke Nukem looking he sort was, of dude. He was a stuntman in a lot of Westerns, too. Like I think he was like in John Ford movies or something. Richard I Farnsworth mean, was, was but he, not his son. No, no, no. His son no, was getting yeah. fucked in the ass in the village. <laughs> yes. That's, he did the stunts for cruising with Al Pacino. <laughs> Yeah, he did the, the stunts on boat trip. Right. He's just like fucking William Freak. It's like, all right, so you're gonna get fisted in your asshole while Pacino jacks off. All of this is gonna get cut from the movie. 
<laughs> apparently, really quickly, apparently when William Freakin' shot um, fucking cruising, yeah. apparently there's like three hours of just gay guys getting fucked in the head and like fisted and stuff that aren't in the movie mm. at all. But they filmed. Just but they filmed. Like, we need B-roll. Yeah. <laughs> and Pacino was just like, I don't know, we should have been doing all this. <laughs> and William Freakin' was like, shut up, queer. Uh, Suck his guy. Was he gay? Like, He had a big ass. <laughs> So anyway, sorry Ben. You were you were, you saw Richard Farnsworth was in. The, uh, uh, sorry, I'm putting back on the 1992 U.S. Open, the famous Tom Kite. Yeah, the uh, one Pebble where the, the the white lizard Tom Kite won. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so then I go because I've been trying to indoctrinate Devin on David Lynch because I know Devin Devin appreciates the man. I love the, the legend. man. But you appreciate like, that he exists. There's been a, it's been a while. It's been a it's been it's been a little difficult for me because mm. I know Ben loves him so much, and I know so many people do. But I I love him. But I yeah, and I respect that. I've and you know on, I respect you, Devin. You know I love you. I know. And you, I, you, you know, I love you dearly. It's mutual. But I yeah, I put on a few of his movies. I find and I go, you very sexy. Some of thank you, thank you. Everyone does. <laughs> I've put on a few of his movies, and I go, did somebody just find a VHS in the woods? <laughs> I go, what even is this? There Maybe I'm Let not smart out, enough to get it. Let it out. I don't quite, I know you, you're talking about Blue Velvet, all mm. the Mulholland Drive. I'm like, I don't, sure. is the point that it's bad on purpose? Which or? which movies did you watch? I've seen Mulholland Drive, and then okay. I've tried to watch Blue Velvet, and I turned it off 10 minutes in. I go, I don't, I, what is this VHS sounds camera? Sounds like he was triggered. In yeah. the weeds. Yeah, it sounds like a little bit of a cuck. It, oh, did it cut uh, out? Oh. oh. Uh, we're, we're back. back. Are we still uh, recording? Well, we, we sound, sound like robots. Right what is now. this a Lynch film? <laughs> <laughs> what is uh, uh, my computer? Is uh, I think it's shut. I I'm, think it's, I think we're good though. I'm gonna kill that fucking thing. So are we still recording? I hate that this thing. By the way, everyone's gonna get mad at me. This has to run off of a Mac. I can't run it off the PC. I'm just letting you guys know. Yeah, yeah, all those computer nerds out there. That, anyway, yeah, yeah. So we we are shit. still recording. Yeah, Ben has one of those bank switches to hit when somebody <laughs> criticizes art he likes, <laughs> just right under the table. Well, it's working now. Okay. Yeah, th- those are the ones I like. I get your your like when like Inland Empire or something like that. I don't care for, but I I like those two. I movies. haven't watched that. Haven't watched uh, Eraserhead. Haven't seen these. Have you seen The Elephant Man? No, I haven't seen. The- I've seen a uh, scene from it, and I it was it looked fucked up. And decent, yes, mm-hmm. very good. Very but good. I don't know. I saw Mulholland Drive in um, community college, and I wanted to shoot up. I wanted to kill everyone. You want to know the secret to enjoying David Lynch? Is you have to be intelligent. <laughs> <laughs> you yeah. have to go back to school, and you have to get your damn diploma. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. And then you get you park your ass in the in the seat in the movie theater, You're right. and you use your brain to understand something that's uh, that can elevate and transfigure you. That's probably it. I'm just a big stupid bozo, <laughs> but I'm gonna be honest. I think his movies stink, <laughs> <laughs> and I've never really enjoyed what I've uh, seen. Mulholland Drive is actually Straight not. Story was great because it was like a normal movie. He, he proved that to critics that yeah. he could just make a normal movie. Yeah. That's why they call it the Straight Story. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah, but even in the Straight Story, I thought some of the editing little off. <laughs> he thought the Straight Hey, more like the Gay Story. <laughs> That's what I called it. Yeah, that's what he said off. in his review. <laughs> he just he directs like a guy that's like left-handed or mm. something. I don't know how to mm. explain it, but there's just it's it's and I'll get into it eventually because I have respect for pe- for my friends and people that love a guy unanimously. Mm. You know, like I'm not like I'm not like writing him off. Obviously, oh obviously, yeah. We're, we're I will we're goofing. get into him. I will try. I'm just saying, like the few times I have, like I remember you were talking about Blue Velvet, like nine months ago you know when mm-hmm. we first started and i went home and i turned it on and within 10 15 minutes it was like my i was like on heroin my head is just roll i'm like what mm-hmm. i don't is vhs shots of a of the weeds and the, the, the every act all the acting stank it feels like i'm watching like the movie they made in bowfinger <laughs> <laughs> you're watching chubby rain it's chubby rain to me like i don't i'm like is it bad on purpose like is he fucking with somebody mm-hmm. like what is the thing Devin? that's that's what we call cinema <laughs> no but it's, like explain it's what, kino but what is the what is that well, first of all, VHS didn't exist yet. I believe that movie was made in 1984. So it was it was fucking Ooh. laser disc. Ooh, jackass. I guess checkmate on me. <laughs> I'll quote the famous David Foster Wallace right now and go full fag if you want me to. Did he, did he love He one? said Quentin Tarantino is interested in cutting off someone's ear. David Lynch is interested in the ear. 
Well, yeah, but it also looks like a, a, a somebody had a studio behind it and made it well. <laughs> there's there's beauty. First of all, first of all, this is what Devin does. He watched seven minutes of a movie and he's mm. like, it sucks. <laughs> right. Well, it's, it's like he read the first page of a book. This, he's like, it's. I hate the this ending. Is, this is why I've I've been in this position many times that I quickly learned to just you just got to tap out yeah. because no, I'm not. Because I'm gonna, an, I'll finish it. It's an no. impossible. But it's, I'm and, saying it's impossible to defend something being good. Here, uh, you know, I didn't understand. Okay, Mulholland Drive. I'll show. Well, how come everyone in the movie looks like they have a zipper? <laughs> <laughs> I'll, 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 Devin. I'll show. I'll prove to you right now. I'll give you perfect, concrete evidence of why you can't enjoy uh, uh, transcendental cinema. Okay. Uh, show the folks at home uh, your flask behind the uh, chair there. <laughs> what? Like like many great directors have had on set? Now, this is... De- huh? Devin's problem is he's aberrated. I'm going to pour some more now. Uh, <laughs> you, you're pissing me off. Do you expect uh, uh, Freddy Quell and the master to enjoy some fine work of art on screen in the cinema? No, he's he's in there. He's watching uh, mm-hmm. Shirley Temple, and he's watching uh, the... Uh, the master, great movie that looked like it had money put into it. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Looked like there was I love a that movie. DP. It look it didn't look like uh it didn't look like <laughs> David Lynch hired my friends to hold a camera. Dude, Blue Velvet in my, looks in my great. old Lexus. What are you talking looked about? Looked like utter shit. Oh god. Uh, but I'll finish it. I watched 10 minutes. Uh the there's the guy in it. Who's the guy that smokes cigarettes that sings uh the candy Clo- colored clown they call uh, the Sandman? He's the guy Man. from Quantum Leap. I yes. forget. It. He's also in Paris, Texas. He's so I forget fu- his he's name. He's in Paris, Texas. Who's the guy that he he picks him up? Oh, um, he picks up Harry Dean Stanton. I, I don't know his name, but yeah, I, yeah, yeah, that guy either. comes in and he he's blo- it's the one of the best performances if you, I've seen. If okay. you know that actor's name, you need to go outside. You shouldn't know that actor. <laughs> yeah, name. you shouldn't know his yeah. name. Here's the thing, Ben. It's kind of interesting because you were so, you hated the alt scene so much, and yeah. then your film your film taste with mm-hmm. loving David Lynch so much. He is very much like the guy that's throwing the game. Or throwing no. the set on purpose. No, he's not. It felt like that. He, every no. time I try, it feels like no. a guy going like being bad. Ironically, no, no, no. Mm. This is okay. This is this is the this is all last stand here. Last stand, boys. Can By I the way, have last I have stand? really nothing to stand on because I didn't even. I only saw Mulholland Drive and I fucking hated last it stand? so much. But I was also young. I was like, <clears throat> I was like nineteen years old. I believe it was Aristotle. <laughs> Who said that uh, if you can think in metaphors, you are highly intelligent. So let me offer one to you right now, Devin Costa. <laughs> <laughs> the well-read retarded man. Mm-hmm. It's my favorite character. <laughs> uh, the metaphor is Devin, he came before this great big blue pool of water in the woods. Right, and there's like a fog and a mist coming off of it, and it's beautiful, and there's all these uh, beautiful little vines and woodland creatures running around, and the sun finds its face in a clearing and shines down upon the water, and Devin, Devin like like a, like a chimp, he like eh, eh, like he kind of comes up before the water, and then he dips his toe in it. And he goes, it's too cold. And then he just runs back off into the woods. <laughs> uh, and he tell, he's telling everybody, he's like, yeah, there's that bullshit uh, see, pool of water back I there. Think, and it's retarded and it sucks and it's gay. I think I'm the guy that goes to the creek and I go, this water will is it, it has bacteria in it. <laughs> <laughs> and I think you go, I, it tastes fine to me. <laughs> I'm doing backstrokes in it. Oh. I think you got to wonder about a guy that everyone... If they like the figure too much, it may bleed into their opinion of the movies the figure makes. So this is an interesting point of view. Because he is the most interesting guy that directs. Yeah. I, I mean, I love Scorsese. I love interviews with him. But, like, David Lynch is a fascinating person to mm-hmm. me. He's like a figure to me. Like, mm-hmm. he is, like, a hilarious, deep, interesting person. And I always wonder if that bleeds into people's opinion yeah, of Yeah, you movies. wonder because, you know, what's interesting is, like, Tarantino actually kind of sucks ass. Yeah, I as a person, I actually I don't like him. Watching his, I, no. he's when he's See, you know when he's acting like fucking Superfly <laughs> in an interview, and he's like, "Here's the thing, my brother." I'm like, "Ugh, stop! <laughs> Just stop! Just go home." Go direct. He's wearing like a Jabala or mm-hmm. a Dashiki yeah, or whatever. Yeah, yeah. No, he's got a Kangol hat on. Yeah, he's like if cocaine became a person. Yeah. 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 And you had a conversation with him. Yeah, and But in spite of him sucking so much ass and looking like a fucking retard, you still just love his movies that much. 
that much. Like yeah, because you, and you go, but he's you go, he stinks. Because people that suck ass are supposed to make good movies because all they they can only talk through movies. They can only talk through their art. They can only speak through their art. When yeah, somebody yeah. is really good at being a person, I always go like, hey, your art might not be that good. Interesting, yeah. But that's not with David Lynch. I know I'm wrong no, here. I, I know I, I'm, I'm well aware of what the comments are going to be like. I know everyone loves him. And I think everybody, I don't think most people think he, like you're a gay cocksucker if you like him. Really? I think so. Yeah. I don't know. It seems like the cool. I think I'm going to look I like do, the cock. Seems I like do, the cool thing to say. I do. Yeah, I do know. I do, like, I like half of his movies, half I hate. I, I don't like the people on. It's very cool on, like, Twitter to be into David Lynch. Mm. Is it? Yeah. No, it is. It's cool to huh, be like. Do it, I suck? It's cool to be like, um, Firewalk With Me is actually fantastic. I really liked it. Yeah. See, there you go. Mm-hmm. I don't mm. know what that is, but I'm sure it stinks. Yeah. <laughs> so you're a guy. <laughs> So you're a guy. You're a guy on Twitter posting like, "I think you should leave gifs," and that's like mm. what you think comedy is. You think comedy is just watching. I think you should leave, and then quoting it later. Hmm. I, I they're a bit. I don't know. Hopefully, it, I'm the five percent because every group sucks except for like five percent of people in that group. Mm. So I hope I'm the five percent of his fans that don't suck ass. Yeah, I don't. I hope. I don't. I I will. I will uh, officially say you're the guy that doesn't suck ass that likes him. Mm -hmm. I think you, Devin, put her there. (laughs) You like. You like great things, and I think you see something in him. And and his movies and I'm I'm I'm, I'm 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 myopic. I'm, Actually, I'm being myopic. But, but once again, I, I haven't fully watched like almost any of his movies. I just remember watching mm-hmm. Mulholland Drive and completely missing yeah. what the I, thing was. Can I say I that? think I oh, think you're ahead. both retarded, and me being in the middle of you two <laughs> actually makes me wise. <laughs> Because you you love him, yeah. you hate him, and I say, yeah, love him and hate him, and, I, and that means I'm actually the wise. It's prophet. every comedian on a podcast just mm-hmm. being a fence sitter, mm-hmm. just being like, I'm actually smart because I want to make fun of everybody. Yeah, yeah, I am the guy. I was like, I was like, I mean, you got people doing stuff on the left, and you got people doing stuff on the right, and meanwhile, I'm just here complaining about the woke mind virus <laughs> for nine hours and not being funny, which is my only job. I I will. I'll end the conversation with this. I want to say. I'm really not that big of a fan of David Lynch. I just love his last name. I was literally and let's move on. I was literally about to say that once you stopped talking. Really? Yeah. I was gonna be like to put a button on it. Yeah. This is the reason you like him. To put it up yeah. in a big nice bow. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I like, think he lynched film. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he tied a rope around a fucking yeah. celluloid can and hung it from a tree. He goes, Enjoy your last moments, bucko. <laughs> I read some of Kurosawa's memoir. I really want to watch uh, his movies now. I haven't seen most of them. Akira? Akira, like Seven Samurai. I think I saw like Ro- Roshima, Roshima? Ro- Roshima. 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 Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, he's great. Yeah, I want to see him because uh, of all the stuff moving in the background and shit. He's great. It's just yeah. Japanese people. I mean, I've been, you know, I've been doing this as like I quit my job four months ago and the entire four months I'm like, I think today's the day I become a big like I'm gonna start. Well, I'm gonna yeah. fire up the Criterion Channel app. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I got, and then I'm just like, but these TikToks are so good. I know. Can I watch a Japanese guy not speak English for four hours? I when... watch Rashomon. I go, where are the fucking ladies in yoga pants, retard? I go, where are the Family Guy clips? How am I supposed to watch this horse shit? I do do that every night. I'm like, I'm going to fucking be smart tonight. Mm-hmm. I'm going to watch some great classic, yeah. you know, La Strada. And I go, you yeah, know what? I'm going to watch an Italian born instead. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to watch Beau Travail. And then I just, yeah, not, not happening. Yeah, you're just going to put one of those on and play those games people play on their phone on the bus. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Where there's like red and blue and purple and green bubbles and they're, they're like popping them. You and just making slot machine mm-hmm. noises. Yeah, you're yeah. an adult that plays like like birthday party games for like children. People do it like it, well into their 50s. Yeah. They just like, they mm-hmm. turn the phone sideways and they're happy as shit. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. They're good to go. It's literally yeah. yeah if like you, if like you design a thing to like keep retarded people occupied so they don't <laughs> attack people, it would be those games. I pop the bubble. Yeah, I pop it. I, I, I and pop. Then. There was four cherries, and then I slid, and then they disappeared. <laughs> and they're like, "Very good, very good, Coco." Patting him on the patting him on the head. Very good. There yeah, he's in a cage, and they're throwing fish at him. Yeah. He goes, yeah. when I play the game, I don't want to rip strangers anymore. <laughs> and they go, very good. And then they they turn to a bunch of other scientists and they go, see, it's working. We can stop them from raping everyone. <laughs> and the scientists go, and that's good? Mm-hmm. And that's Is that what we want? That is what we want, yes. Okay. Yeah. Very like good. Robo, retard cop. 
Um, yeah, I do wish there was a thing that could separate like there's really good movies I haven't seen and then there's movies that are like supposed to be good but you put them on you're like this is like the gayest yeah. slowest piece of shit movie of all like I wish yeah. I could know the difference between those two yeah, yeah. you know yeah yeah I, 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 I feel the same way but it's really all about getting past that first hour because mm. there's a lot of movies where it takes like 45 minutes for you to really understand why you've been yeah. investing and I'm thinking maybe that's what the, the, you know my what you problem need? with Lynch I don't know you know what you need you we need the you know when people go to like Dave Chappelle shows they put the phone in a like a black zipper with a, mm -hmm. like yeah. a lock on it and if mm -hmm. you open it like you get like syphilis or whatever right 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 they're like we don't want you recording one of Dave's three jokes so <laughs> phone's in the bag <laughs> one of his three 30 minute <laughs> yeah. jokes we, we, we can't have you recording Dave going like, they tried to cancel Snoopy from Peanuts. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, you need one of those like when you go into your apartment or your mm. home. You need a guy standing there. You put your phone in the thing and they like lock it. And then you have to actually watch something or like make a new thing you don't know how to make mm -hmm. or like call someone you love on a on a different phone i guess that doesn't have access to others or maybe mm. forget that one fuck that one sure you gotta like grill a chicken and watch a movie and have a nice I know. night well, this is instead of wait you blink and it's two hours later and you've this, just been watching a, a 400 pound chinese guy on tiktok yeah this, i mean this is the dream i'm like i'm gonna get a dumb phone but i know i get it and i just start tearing like my fucking arms out like a serious mind like i yeah. go insane you're yeah. talking about yeah. the flip phone bullshit yeah like get a dumb phone that can just do texting and shit yeah yeah that never works you just become a burden to everyone that you <laughs> no. know because everyone's like why the fuck can't I, you text me back i know a couple people who've done that and what happens is anytime they get around other people they just start grab their phone yeah and, and start using, using it using it yep. so you become a, your own ipad baby <laughs> you're at a thanksgiving and you're like laid on a on a couch cushion upside down and you're just like getting peanut butter all over a screen <laughs> You've turned yourself retarded. I was super productive today just by letting my phone die. I didn't charge it today. It's been dead the entire mm. day, and I got a ton of stuff done. That's good. And I can still answer iMessages on my Mac while I'm working. Right. But. Yeah. I have the thing on you. There's the screen time on your phone that says, like, uh, after an hour of daily use, like, you have to, like, click through to, like, get to all your apps. And, like, I put that on, and then, like, the first day, I had to turn it off at 1 a.m. Because I'd used one hour of screen time. Oh, damn. Yeah. Man, yeah, and I so I just I have I've had that on my phone for three years, and then I just turn it off every morning, and just keep using my phone. Just turn it yeah, off. yeah, because that's the thing is like I can just turn it off, so it's mm -hmm. like it's, there's no point to it. Yeah, you know? right. Yeah, I just let it consume me. Yeah, I just actively fight against it. I go like, oh god, I'm on this phone all fucking day, and, I, and then I put it, throw it down, and I go, and I sit and I think for like five minutes, and I go, then give me that fucking. Thing. <laughs> You have five minutes if that. Yeah, <laughs> five minutes if that. Yeah, yeah. I've done that where I'm like, I'm going to set a timer, 25 minutes, and then you get 12 minutes and you're like, well, that's close enough. Uh, Pick this phone back up. I go, it's always going. I go, there's always something. And then and now I can do the thing. I'm like, it's for the podcast. I have to talk about the little Mexican aliens. I'm studying. Oh, we didn't talk about the little Mexican aliens. Maybe we should save it for the Patreon. Okay. The little Mexican Unless aliens. Unless this is the Patreon. We don't know, I guess. Yeah, I, th I mean, I feel like I feel like we're really gonna let the racism fly. We haven't on this. Never app, know, so. but we. I always go into the second episode just like really comfortable. Mm -hmm. If yeah. we if we get a good e <laughs> <laughs> if we get if we get a good enough one to make it public, the first episode, the second one, I'm like, whatever comes out comes out. Yeah, acting like it's not real and can't just like be used against me one day. Yeah, yeah. It yeah. does feel like I'm on a pretty short leash on on YouTube. To be honest, yeah. we are. I mean, what was... And I feel like we still are somewhat wild, but... We yeah. are. I mean, we're very wild on YouTube, I think. But yeah, there's always a, there's always something where you're like, man, is that a thing with YouTube? Like, are we going to get fucked with, you know? Because we yeah. said... We talked and then about you always have a weird them. theory. You're like, oh, we made fun of, like, N Nepalese people. YouTube, like, really cares about Nepal this year. Yeah, you never you know. know. You're <laughs> like, yeah. oh, man, we, we shit on the fishing methods in Nepal. Yeah, it's like knows? we should have talked about raping your daughter more. That's fine. Yeah. You know. It's all arbitrary, though. I know. When you do get... The only time you ever know it's your fault is, like, if you played porn or something, like, on the screen. Yeah. Or, other than that, like, if it's about what you're saying, that's impossible. Meanwhile, to YouTube know. doesn't care that people share CP all the time on unlisted links. They don't give a damn about that, because 
people don't run ads on unlisted videos, so it doesn't upset ad- people advertisers. People are sharing CP yeah, on apparently, YouTube. Apparently, there's like a million hours of child porn on YouTube because they don't just say CP unlisted. for the algorithm. Oh, because I don't want YouTube to like delete us or whatever. CP. The hell. Call it California Pizza. <laughs> <laughs> That's why they named it that restaurant. Yeah. Yeah. They, go, yeah. they go, if you give us a wink and a 50, we'll take you back. Wait, really? There's like CP on <laughs> I love that Jason's like popping in a zen as he's talking about yeah. CP. I go, you guys talking about, yeah, I, I'm at a party <laughs> and I'm fucking loading a can of Copenhagen. I'm like, you boys talking about CP? <laughs> Just wrapping it. <laughs> I never figured out how to do that, by I the way. I can't do it. You have to say the N-word enough times to do it. <laughs> Literally, I can never, because I used to do Copenhagen in college. I can never do that. And you handed it to a guy who was like expanding from N-words in his body. <laughs> yeah. And he would just grab it and be yeah. like, whoop. Like the girl in Willy Wonka. Yeah. yeah like yeah. windows blow out. A guy out. that looked like a pigeon that just ate Alka-Seltzer. <laughs> A guy who looked like a 19-year-old version of the car dealer guy from Friday Night Lights. <laughs> Someone should edit the end of Willy Wonka when they drink the fizzy lifting drink, and then mm-hmm. they have to burp to come down because they're at the fan, but they have to keep saying the N-word to <laughs> to like float down. Someone should so, just edit it like that. So they anyway, have to say slurs. <laughs> Someone <laughs> should do that. Someone anyway. should do that. Anyway, I saw, you know, in, in Willy... <laughs> Sorry, I did not yes say on. No. Um, I just got excited. I forgot to tell you this, that you know the scene in Willy Wonka where Veruca Salt starts expanding because she ate the gum? She the blueberry spoiled. girl. The blueberry girl. She she get, expands. Apparently, there's people who are into expansion porn, so if you go to that scene on YouTube, it's just like guys being like, Hoochie mama! <laughs> Hoochie ha ta ta! And they're in the comments being like, I wish uh, I could expand that big. That would fucking rule. <laughs> so in the 70s, some guys were like, they thought they weren't even sexually awake. They're like, I guess mm-hmm. I'm asexual. Maybe I'm gay. I don't know. Nothing mm-hmm. gets me off. And then they saw that scene in Willy yeah. Wonka. They, so they went to Char and the Chocolate Factory and they go, oh, wait a second. And then they're worried. They're like, wait, am I a pedophile? And they're like, no, I just want to fuck expanding children. <laughs> yeah. I'm not a pedophile. The guys that go, I didn't know I was uh, attracted to the future. <laughs> <laughs> oh but uh but to you know because I, I know this is a serious show too i do we need to get the word out there a lot of people are sharing cp on youtube and we need to start pressuring google to do something about it we should because yeah. they don't really care about any of that shit they always talk about making youtube how's safe that for possible, kids but that's though? just because of advertisers how's that possible though to upload cp on youtube like what is what are we even talking about what does that mean do uh, like, you want me to describe what it is? No, I'm, you can't have any sexually like explicit. So it's like kids in bathing suits or something, or like or. What well, it's is just it? unlisted, so I guess YouTube doesn't always catch it. Oh, it's like people posting on their like on, right, their, so on, their, the, on their CP Patreon. You like the, it's an unlisted <laughs> video. <laughs> yeah, they're like public one. We do regular porn <laughs> Patreon. That's when we do the CP. There probably is a CP only fans coming. By the way, just look yeah. out for that. And by the way, it would make like fucking <laughs> as the world continues. It would to make crumble. all the world's money a year. <laughs> Literally every every yeah. piece of monetary money that exists in the world would go through that yeah. site once a year. It's run by the government. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> The fucking New World Order. <sighs> well, in closing here, I really want to go up to a place that you guys really don't want to go to. But I kind of thought maybe to I could eat? pressure you on to air. Eat? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I okay, thought I could what? pressure you on air to go. What? And then maybe you, then you'd feel bad enough that you... What is it, Ben? I really want to go to Chili's. <laughs> oh, man. I know Devin hates Chili's. <laughs> it's really <laughs> crazy with you. All right. Can we I'll mix go. it up? I'll go to Chili's. We don't have to go. Why to, do we have to go to the we same don't Jewish to, diner? We don't have to go to that that, that them diner. <laughs> I mean, we go so much. We might as well attend temple at this point. <laughs> we can go might to as ch- well renounce uh, Jesus Christ as we my Lord and Savior. We can go to your fucking you know your Gentile hub. <laughs> I want to go someplace Christian. Damn it. Yeah. I want to go to Chili's. I want to go to a California Pizza Kitchen. I, I, would much, I would much rather go to Chili's than California Pizza Kitchen. Yeah. We, There's something about a California Pizza Kitchen that just makes me feel like I'm about to be killed. I don't know why. When you ordered pasta, it looked like a bunch of larva. Yeah, no, I, I ate it and like I could feel it moving like in my belly. <laughs> Remember, I was halfway through my jambalaya pasta, which, by the way, I can't believe I ordered that. We, me and Devin couldn't either. Yeah, you guys that was wild. Going, that was wild. Yeah. I thought about acting as goalie and like diving in front of you <laughs> yeah, and the you waitress. Push, you push my plate <laughs> off the you, table. When you like order the jambalaya pasta at Chili's they put it into a, a Brita filter to f- try to filter out 
just uh, you know any right. of the yeah they put the they put the plate there and they put a straw in it they go here you, you drink go it. here you go bub yeah they bring you a wheelchair can mm-hmm. i have a silly straw and they go excuse me can i pardon you for an after dinner gun i'd like to kill myself <laughs> <laughs> but no, I remember I was eating and I turned to you guys because we hadn't eaten. We like we recorded like I think we were banking apps or something, so we hadn't eaten all day. And I turned to you guys like three bites in. I'm like, oh my god, I feel like shit. And I just kept fucking. I thought they were gonna bring out the captive bolt gun from No Country for Old Men at the end of the meal. And, they should have and, and like have it on a hot towel they like should. that. Like, sir, would you? Once I eat all the pasta, the plate should say "fuck you" <laughs> underneath <laughs> it. <laughs> Is there like an Applebee's around here? Or like another chain we could try out? There is an Olive Garden, and I had a wild time there a few months back. Olive it was Garden a great kind of sounds nifty. Mm. I did. My face was bloated for about three days after. Yeah, yeah. Olive, Olive Garden. Before you eat Olive Garden, you, just, you have to take your rings off so you can get them off. You know, yeah, yeah. <laughs> just the fucking bloat that's coming. Yeah, yeah. So you, to like cut your fingernails. Yeah, so your you're flesh like, is like, like I gotta take this off because I'm about to expand. Yeah, yeah. You look over to the other table at Olive Garden. It's just a bunch of salt goats. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you see guys at Olive Garden like break their fucking necklaces, just snap in half. It it was very good though. Oh, it's it's a tremendous restaurant. In closing, by the way, fuck everybody with all these. I see all these hot takes about food on Twitter that people say suck ass, and it's always my favorite food. Like people are like saying you're a retard if you order fettuccine alfredo, or like Chick Fil A's mid, and that In and Out sucks ass. That's All just, those things kick ass. Fettuccine Alfredo is great. That's just white yeah. ha- white hatred, buddy. Yeah, it is white hatred. It's also not. Even, it is white hatred, and it's also it's it's black hatred Thank too because black people love uh, shrimp Alfredo and it's fettuccine true. Alfredo. There's well. a war on the white what? man and the black. There's man. a war on both of us. It's from China, and we need to band together and kill the rest. <laughs> black people do love fettuccine Alfredo. <laughs> Put it there, brother. <laughs> Yeah, we're going to war. Yeah, yeah we're going to war. Yeah. yeah, I didn't realize it until you said it, but yeah, like there's like nine athletes who've blown their fortune at fucking cheesecake factories and Applebee's. And oh shit. Yeah. yeah, you go to the cheesecake factory any given <laughs> night, mm-hmm. like some some guy's girlfriend's ass explodes at the bar. <laughs> the windows yeah. shut. Yeah, they dude. put like a like you know caution tape around her. Right. Dude, there's a there's a cheesecake owner in in fucking Nashville's like Vince Young bought my fucking vacation home. <laughs> is it every thirty for thirty is just a black athlete is just like yeah I went to Cheesecake there's, Factory too much. There's Vince Young I think spent like five hundred thousand dollars at the Cheesecake Factory in one sitting. No, 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 <laughs> no. That's insane. That's yeah, what, what, what do you buy at the Cheesecake like, Factory <laughs> at the end of the night? What, they have Don Perry on to bring out to him. I'm imagining he just came with like nine very fat white women. And they just like had a time. <laughs> that is very true. Um, uh, Marshawn Lynch, uh, Marshawn Lynch, David Lynch's brother, yeah. David Lynch's brother, <laughs> Marshawn. You, they should have had you run the ball in the Super Bowl. <laughs> I don't know why Pete Carroll called a pass play, Marshawn. <laughs> David Lynch is from Oakland. <laughs> yeah, drop, drop in casual ends. Eraser hand. <laughs> From the bay. From the bay, Bucko. Blue, blue velvet. <laughs> blue velvet, Bucko. <laughs> I don't like that Marshawn is taking the name back. <laughs> that one's ours, Jack. I just think Marshawn should pull his pants up a little bit. Um, but Marshawn Lynch uh, spent like years at an Applebee's in Buffalo when he entered the league. Allen Iverson. Allen Iverson used to like fuck with, uh, what was it, Chili's or Applebee's? I think it was Applebee's. Applebee's. He loved Applebee's. He loved really? Applebee's, yeah. yeah. He'd roll into an oh, Applebee's. Yeah, dude, he'd roll into an Applebee's with like 20 black people. Yeah. Like they'd roll a bus in. <laughs> that, and the that's pe- awesome. the, You'd see the people in the Applebee's, you'd be like, oh, oh. Yeah. Oh. And All that's the guys that look like Luke Combs. Yeah, a guy who looks like Luke Combs like grabbing a Larry Bird jersey and holding it like a shield. <laughs> and that's why Allen Iverson's so bloated now. <laughs> exactly. And he cries all the time to get the salt out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Allen Iverson is like competing with Michael Jordan for most alcoholic. Uh, it's Michael Jordan, Allen Iverson, and Paul Pierce are like the Mount Rushmore of alcoholic yep. ex NBA players. Yeah, God bless them. I love. Bless. I love that we live in a day and age like when I was a kid. If you told me that like all my favorite athletes would have like podcasts where they're just saying whatever they want and like crying, and I know. Do, being Dude, weird. Paul Pierce just... is the best because he'll go on like live streams with Kevin Garnett and get like way too drunk. Yep. And just be like, I, w- I could have won three championships if you guys got here. And then Kevin's like, all right, come on. 
You know, no, he's gonna... on like Showtime. Like that yeah. wasn't even just like an independent live stream. That was a Showtime funded like live stream. It's a show, and Kevin Garnett's like, "All right, man, like, like, calm down." And mm. Paul Pierce is like, "Man, bring the bitches in." <laughs> like he's <laughs> drunk as fuck. <laughs> Yeah, the Morris twins just kind of admitted. Oh, can we to watch rape. that clip? To yeah, end the, the, show? Mor- the Morris twins admitted to basically <laughs> raping women in like a very silly way. What do I type in again? Type in just Morris twins. Yeah, uh, in the Twitter. Morris twins. Yeah, it'll, it'll come, come up. up. Yeah. Yeah, this is so funny. This is oh, so God, funny. I love this so much. Did y'all used to switch classes? Shit, yeah, that was twenty years ago. Yeah, mm-hmm. uh, yeah. y'all used to switch classes on boys. High school, we we had to. So I guess for anybody that doesn't know, these are two athletes who are twins. Yeah, they're in the and, NBA. Uh, they're twins, and yeah, they're like fine. They're like decent players, and they're being asked if they have ever switched places. Yeah, mm-hmm. in life, <laughs> and all they had to do was go of... with the silly angle, yes. like yeah, you know, to like get away with some take something. the ACTs yeah. or something, yeah, like yeah, a yeah. test or. Dude, that shit was just something to do, man. We had to like see if y'all get away with it. Yeah, man, we got away with all that shit. That was, that was that easy was so work. Long. Yeah, that was so long ago. Man. What's the wildest? If you could say the wildest switch off y'all pulled. Okay, pause it real quick. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's funny that even Matt Barnes is like trying to give them an out. He's like, if y'all could say, he's mm-hmm. like, Matt Barnes is like, because I know, like, hey, you know, right. NBA player, we all rape, right. but like, <laughs> <laughs> you get Matt Barnes is holding a piece of paper below camera that says, "Don't say rape," like underlined three times. <laughs> And so there were there, being, there were spots, yeah. In the classroom, in sports, Damn. in life, it's anywhere gotta else. Be, it's got to be in life, but it ain't appropriate for the cameras. <laughs> <laughs> I was going no, they like did that. say we switched teams. Like, Y'all switched, switched teams. They, they, NBA team. they said we switched NBA teams like like five years ago. So That'd have been like, crazy. Yeah, that's uh, what they said that's crazy. Yeah, man. That's crazy. Yeah, rape's crazy, man. Yeah, crazy, man. So anyway, <laughs> by the way, they have they have they they, they they purposely have nearly identical tattoos. Yes. So that's another reason they, why it's they even look completely more sinister. identical. They look completely mm, identical, yeah. and they have the same tattoos. So if you are a woman, you're like, you know, if oh, that's the same tattoo mm-hmm. that he had. So why would I think any different? Yeah, exactly. Plus, you don't want to. You don't want to be like you look like this other black guy. You know yeah. that's already. Honestly, I give it up to. They're like mystery men characters. <laughs> <laughs> so basically, they admitted to they let like his brother like f- fuck his girlfriend's pussy. That's what it sh- probably is. But it, I mean, I don't know. Maybe it's something that yeah. they just couldn't. Uh, maybe may, you know. Maybe they like forged checks, or I don't know. Maybe they maybe they like somebody went into a bank interview. I, you know, hopefully, hopefully, but, but it's not. It that, se- yeah, probably. it seems like it's it's probably rape. it's probably sexual, right? Which yeah. means it would be rape. Hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, hmm. but you know, what are you gonna do? Like they fucking their jumpers are fucking <laughs> sweet. Well, everybody in the replies are like, "That's wild." <laughs> That's like, your wild. Oh, like, everyone's just like crying, laughing. Yeah, like, yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> No, it's very, really yeah, it's very funny. It's either people being like, I think that's rape, right? And then people be like, man, brothers be yeah. wild. <laughs> <laughs> well, God yeah. bless these two brothers yeah, for God, sharing pussy. God, God bless, bless the Morris twins. Yeah. <laughs> you got to share a pussy. Hmm? Mm-hmm. You can't hog it all to yourself. Mm-hmm. I agree. I agree. It's not rape if it's sharing. What does she care? What is she? Yeah. It's the same. It's the, the same, same guy, guy, kind of. Mm-hmm. Different blood type, but who cares? <laughs> what are you going to, you know, come on, what are you, a nurse? She was a yeah. whore anyway. Yeah, exactly. exactly. She was a whore anyway. You know what I say? She was already fucking a black guy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So does consent even exist? <laughs> yeah. Well, this might be the Patreon now. Who knows? <laughs> well... Patreon.com slash Lemon Party live streams every uh, Wednesday, 4 p.m. Pacific Standard Time on the Lemon Party Clips channel. Uh, the Patreon, we do episodes every Friday, video and audio on there. And uh, if you want to get your name on the video, too, sign up for the Yellow Kings tier. But uh, Devin, Hate Watch Pod. Yeah. Uh, Jace at Sad Drawings by Jace. Well, great drawings out of the way, by the way. Oh, thanks, buddy. Yeah, I'm Appreciate glad you started that. doing it again. They're thanks, great. so am I, yeah. And, uh, it's almost like I'm getting my life back because of bills. <laughs> but anyways, I'm a woke cuck fag because I take an SSRI. Anyway, Do come I in here, you? Emma. Emma rolled in coyote shit today and ate a bunch of shit. Mm. And I had, to, I had to wash her off by the pool. And yeah. I had to tie her up, and she watched me do laps. The dogs are really competing for which ones you put down once the baby's born. <laughs> they know. They know. I was going to bring in a whole turd and yeah. place it next to the baby's head. <laughs> She's going to look at you like, come on, like, fucking put me down i'm begging you i'm begging you to kill me 
All right, let's go to Chili's. All right, Chili's it is. Good night. Good night.